Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is cold. It's December, and we have yet another moose that has wandered onto our property. So let's uh, go see if we can nab him. Um, I killed an, a moose earlier uh, on the property, and also I think we hit one or two lock traits. Here's the footage for that. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. He's a level one, which is good. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, I've uh, I've just I've gone on a couple of short loot runs and not you know trying not to get too far away from the base because it's really getting cold now, as you can see. And uh, we are ready, however. <laughs> To make our stove and look at that nice uh, our stove and also our I think we we're gonna be able to make our heavy-duty pants uh, which is gonna bump our protection up by another three and our warmth up by uh, let's see uh, by one and a half uh, okay so let's go ahead and put this stuff in here for now we'll put this in here Grab these guys out of there and put them in here. So we are doing pretty good. I uh, I had like two, I think, two big attacks when I was gone, uh, too far away to come back, and they really did some major damage. They completely destroyed this wall and, um, you know, damaged a whole bunch of other stuff. So it cost me a, quite a bit of resources to do a little repairs for that which kind of sucks but it is the way that it goes but i haven't had any attacks in probably two to three in-game days so i'm kind of just <laughs> watching for it to happen again here uh but anyway let's go ahead and grab this here and uh, that iron and we just need to make one more ingot so i've made five so far and now we have enough to make the sixth ingot because if you recall we need six ingots to make the stove. Right now I got the refinery working on getting us some zinc going. Okay, so we got that done. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to switch this back to iron. We do have one lock pick, but I'd like to get 18 pieces there. Okay, so we have enough power. We are going to need some mass, and I don't really have anything to... Oh, wait, never mind. I take that back. I do have something that we can feed in here. Let's throw all that in there and see how much that gets us. <laughs> One point! We are one point away. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I mean, let's just turn this on. We'll get that final point. That's funny, though, that, that, it's, that it got us just one point away. Okay, come on. Give us one more point. There we go. Okay. Um, so that takes care of the power and mass. We got our six ingots. And let's see, we're also going to need some electronics and some scrap. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! We finally have ourselves a stove. And we have a frying pan to immediately start using it. And we have liver and onions waiting to be cooked up. Um, give me that frying pan back. Okay, very cool. Uh, let's see, let's grab that fat out of there and just make sure this stays topped off. We pretty much almost have to run our generator full time now, but that's okay. I mean, we've got over a full stack of biofuel and, you know, I'm hunting wolves and and uh, that kind of stuff, you know, regularly. Wolves mostly. Uh, we have white wolves now, so if you guys didn't know this, the bears hibernate in the winter and the white wolves come out. Um, honestly, the white wolves, in my opinion, are more dangerous than the bears because they're a lot harder to see. And more than once, I have stumbled right up on top of them. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, that's what we have. And as you can see, I have been doing some hunting and we got some food built up in here. Uh, so let's grab our handy dandy new stove. 
and we're going to set that right next to the refrigerator here and let's just make sure it's nice and straight and that looks pretty good right there i think all right and then we're going to put the frying pan in here next thing we're going to be shooting for is the uh the pot the boiling pan which uh, is going to be another six metal ingots and 30 zinc but we do want to make this as soon as possible because with this we can then make the tomato soup which is really really good food uh, but with the frying pan just checking to make sure the bad guys aren't coming we can now make liver and onions so let's go ahead and grab um here let's split this in half let's make three and we grab the onions there and we uh we can also make steak and eggs once we start raising a chicken liver and onions and hash browns yeah actually we could make hash browns too uh but this is this is the stuff we're after so let's go ahead and queue three of those up now this food is going to not only give us a, a nice amount of both protein and carbs because we're using onions liver and onions but it's also going to start building our health cap up too i'm already at 81 on the health cap um but you know once we start eating this better food that we can cook in the stove the health caps and stamina caps and whatnot are going to really go up so it's a beautiful thing it is a beautiful thing okay so while that stuff is cooking there we have um let's actually go up to the roof We'll grab these waters here uh, and just this little bit of stuff. I'm also going to grab, uh, well, let's just grab all of these things right now to make any extra seeds that we might have to do. Looks like we're clear. Okay, so we do have, oh, shoot, that cotton plant's still not quite done yet. Um, it it might you know what i think's going on here i think they're i think everything stopped growing because it's winter um so what we need to do with that is we're going to have to bring the, the the plant beds indoors and i think for now what we'll probably do with those i don't really want to put them on this side of the building because this is a side that gets attacked a lot all right, let's stick that in there for the moment. So we'll probably end up putting them here. So why don't we do... I'm just trying to think about this for a minute. Okay, let's move this. And for now, I know this is kind of jank, but I'm just going to put it right at the foot of the bed right now. For now. Okay, we might not have to move this. Let's just wait and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure these are no longer growing because it's now December. Because that cotton plant has been in that state for quite some time. And, you know, there's plenty of light here, as you can see, but pretty sure nothing's growing. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. And we will take it down and put it inside i am going to do lights for these two but not quite yet they will grow indoors even without lights i think uh it'll just uh, just more slowly okay so yeah see they still have 27 percent light <clears throat> so they should continue growing but like i said it's just they're just going to grow a lot more slowly than they uh, otherwise would okay let's put that in the fridge Man, it's so nice to have a stove and a refrigerator now. Okay, it looks like we're still clear for the moment. Let's grab this one. These are all tomatoes. And we'll set these right next to these. That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, that is a little tight getting in there, isn't it? <clears throat> Where else could I put this without it getting damaged? I guess what we could do is pick it up 
and oh it'll actually let me do that that's kind of weird it's gonna clip a little bit but you know what um, yeah let's just have it clip a little bit into the generator we could here let's do this let's move this over Uh, over here right about there and then we'll move this one over let's grab this out of here um, there. okay let's look at this for a second so this is gonna give us 35 protein and 17 fruits and vegetables but it's also gonna give us uh, point 18 and point uh, health and point 19 stamina um, so if you watch the little red bar down on the health, as soon as we eat this, see how that little red bar is coming up there? Um, and we already increased our stamina. So as we start to eat this food, uh, we're going to start to see that climb up, which is great because, uh, you know, the more health we have, the better our chances of survival. Okay, so let's get that fertilized. And, yeah, see this cotton is is already done nice okay it's gonna say it should be done in just a few minutes but no it's done right now so just by moving that stuff indoors we were able to get that going okay so we have three uh, spots here and uh, do I ha have any more onions or any seeds in here no we don't okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna split these in half and turn all of these into onion seeds because I don't have any more cotton seeds at the moment. So we'll keep planting onions so we can keep doing liver and onions. Um, let's just top you off with water too. And yeah, all right. Now, we'll move this over. Make sure we're nice and straight. And not clip it into the wall. And then... We'll just nudge this over a little bit, too, so it's not butted right up against the crop plot there. There we go. Okay. I like that. Anybody coming over to visit? There's another moose over there. Tempted to go over and get him, actually. Um, we need to reload this. Okay, let's top off our fire here. Okay, so we've got all of this cotton. So we have 12 cotton here. Um, we already have one padded cloth that we made earlier. So for the heavy-duty pants, we're going to need to make three more of those. We're going to need to make a rope. Uh, let's get that going right now since we have the stuff. And for this, we're going to need cloth and feathers. So cloth and feathers. We need to make three more of these. Beautiful. Okay. And let's put this stuff back in here. Um, that still leaves us three more that we could... Um, well, yeah, I'm out of cloth, so we can't really do anything... Ooh, is he going to come over here? Nice. He sure is. Look at him coming over. Oh, wait. No, he turned around. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we should go after that guy. I could try and take a pot shot at him from here. That's a long shot, though. I hit him. I wonder if uh, if we piss him off enough, if he'll if he'll swim all the way across the lake to come and get us. I've been trying to avoid. Well, I have not trying to. I have been avoiding going over there. Just let things calm down a bit, because that that last attack that those guys did on us 
was expensive, man. Alright, let's see if we can get another shot off on him. Oh, yeah, he's coming towards us. Okay, good. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's in the water. Okay. He's going back to shore. Interesting. Okay, here, let's go get some more ammo. I should have some more ammo for this in the in, in the base. We've hit him twice. I don't know what level he is, but I don't. I, it doesn't seem to me that the level of the moose matters a whole lot. It seems to me like even at level one, still drop a lot of good stuff. I haven't s noticed a significant difference between the levels in terms of what they drop. Now, of course, the level threes are harder to kill because they're tougher, but he still wants to come after us, man. Look at that. Yeah, get. Whoops. Get all the way over here, man. He doesn't like the deep water so much. I've really had a hard time hitting stuff in the water uh, when it's going at an angle. It seems. Now he's coming after us. Okay, he's a level two. Can you get up here? Here, let's do a cheap kill. Nice. Okay. That was probably about the easiest moose kill I've ever done in this game. We'll take it. And look at all those nice giblets. We got some... Um, uh, we got some more cloth out of him, too, so we could probably make that next cotton padding, uh, should we choose to do so. Alright. Oh, yeah, the rose, rose hips, rosebud hips, or whatever those things are called, are out now, so I'm starting to collect those because we'll use them to make jam. Uh, but that's another thing that we need the cooking pot for. And then we'll start we'll start harvesting sandstone so we can make glass, which is easy to do. And then we can start making jam, because I've, I've saved all the strawberries. And we have a decent collection of those. Blueberries you can pretty much get year-round. And then we need the, you know, the rose hips, uh, rosebud hips, too. Is that what those are called? Or no, rose hip berries, sorry. Yeah, rose hip berries. Nice. Okay, so let's put... Uh, we got three of these waiting to go, but we can't make those until we do the baking pan. Uh, we're, we're not going to cook liver straight up anymore because, you know, now we can start making liver and onions. Nice. Okay, let's put all this stuff in here. Not that. So we got 12 antlers built up now. And some more fat. <clears throat> and we got five cloth so why don't we yeah why don't we go ahead and make our next padded cloth uh, we don't need it for the pants but we we're gonna need for the shirt we're gonna need five uh, for the shirt so uh, interestingly enough the shirt costs five padded cloth 15 iron in one rope the heavy-duty pants only cost four padded cloth and less iron in one rope, but these actually give more warmth protection. So I don't know, that seems a little unbalanced, I don't know. But that's the way it works. Okay, so let's see, what are, what else do we need here? We just need 12 iron fragments, which we have right here. And look at that. Nice, heavy duty pants, guys. This is going to add another three. Um to our protection, our damage protection. Um, and it's going to add another one and a half to our cold tolerance. So we are moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. So let's put these on. Okay. And now we have a total of minus 5.2 cold tolerance and plus 26 
damage protection. That is a beautiful thing. So the next thing we'll work on, of course, is the heavy-duty shirt. We're going to have to come, you know, come up with four more padded cloth. The rest of it's not a big deal. And once that's done, um, you know, then then we're going to want to make the winter jacket. But depending upon how quickly we obtain this other stuff, um, you know, if we don't, well, no, nah, I take the back. We're we're going to make it as soon as we can. Um, so that way it's done, and then we have it for subsequent seasons. Uh, but the shirt is the next thing on the list. All right, cool. So let's um, load this guy up. And I think we are doing pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. We still have a lock pick there, so that's good. Um, let's put all this stuff back in here. Uh, these go in here. That goes in there. Those go in there. That goes in there. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda for equipment is going to be an animal pen. And probably a third crop plot, too. Um, is this done? No, not quite yet. Oh, we need to put another seed in there. Uh, probably a third crop plot just so we can... You know, um, have enough stuff to to feed the the critters. So let's see. The animal pin is actually we might be able to. I think we can afford that right now. Um, how many rope did it say it needed again? Two. Okay, let's make two rope. Um, no, rope. Okay, so we got that done. Nobody's coming. What else? We're going to need 12 nails and 7 scrap. We're getting kind of low on scrap. Uh, and then 8 planks. So we got 1 plank there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more planks and then once that's done uh, we also need 90 mass how close are we on our mass right now 79 okay yeah we're getting really close okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the camera here I'm gonna go out and harvest all the trees on the island and wait for all this stuff to cook up and then when it's done I'll bring you guys back and we will make our first animal pin. And then what we're going to do is go out and get ourselves a chicken for the animal pin. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back and we are ready to make our animal pin. There we go. Let's do it. Huzzah. All right, let's put this stuff back in here. We are actually really low on scrap, so we're going to have to go be on the lookout for that. Let's grab... Um, some of these and I want to make one shotgun shell and one rifle round just so we have a full guns worth of those okay and then we'll put those back up there okay animal pen time fantastic so first order of business is where are we gonna put this thing uh, we definitely do not want to put it on this side of the base um, <clears throat> I don't know if it, if it's supposed to be a certain distance from the base or not. I'm not really sure about that. Um, so why don't we, let's just put it over by this tree. Oh, okay. What's the deal here? All right. Okay. So it's got to be. Okay. It's got to be within the. Within the blue circle. Oh crap. Okay. And it doesn't look like it wants me to put it on stone. Interesting. Well, that's that's problematic. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, 
uh, this makes the most sense, but man, it's kind of like right in the line of fire there. And let me put it there. And I don't, hmm, I don't like that, man. How much, uh, how much does a BCU extender cost? Uh, let's see, BCU range extender. One ingot. And one circuit board and five scrap metal. All right, we can definitely make, uh, we should be able to make all of that actually. Oh, rats, we, we ran out of mass there. Okay, uh, how much mass does that require? Range extender, 80, okay. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I do not want to put the animal pin on this side of the base. It's just not going to happen. So I think what we're going to do is grind out that BCU extender. And just looking to see where all the enemies are. Wonder why Charlie's not lit up. Their base is right. Oh yeah, they are. You just it's kind of hard to see their fire. All right, they're right there. Okay, well, yeah. Let me um, let me grind this out uh, so we can do the BCU extender. Then we'll put it down, and then what we will do is is find a spot over on this side to put down our animal pen. All right, so I will, and we'll wait till morning too, so we have some more light. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we are under attack. Um, I actually killed the first group of these guys uh, and forgot to put the recording on. So I was busy trying to stay alive. Where'd that guy go? I saw him right over there. And it's cold as all get out out here too. All right, well here, let's run back in here and warm up. There was a third guy, but I don't know where he went. Um, we probably better go ahead and take this too. Guy okay, here, I hear him. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh crap. Man. Okay, here. Um, why? Oh, I can't take that in the water. Okay. Good gravy. All right, let's get his stuff. So at least two different hunter groups attacked us. Um. And let's get these. T and I was trying to find the other. There's another backpack, too, that I, I can't find, and that's when the. The next group attacked us. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, I got it. Phew. Okay. I'm glad we, you know, we were here, though. Um, because if we're not here, they do so much damage to, to everything. Uh, okay, so... <coughs> excuse me. Let's reload this. Reload that. this okay um it looks like we need three more shotgun shells too so let's make those just so we have a full magazine and then we can put that in there we have some extra rifle rounds those can go back in there let's put this stuff in here this goes in here I was out uh, cutting some wood, too. Now they brought us some scrap metal. That's good. We, we need it. That in there. And these can go down here. 
and then we'll reload this. Okay, so yeah, that was two, uh, probably Charlie and Bravo, I'm thinking. Uh, of course, I don't know for sure. Could have been Alpha too. But, uh, oh, you know what? We need, um, we also need to make two more Magnum, or no, three more Magnum shells. There we go. So that is also full. Okay, so we were working on uh, the BCU range extender, and I think we have everything we need now for that, except for we might not have enough mass yet. Um, yeah, we need 80 mass. We got all the other stuff. So what we could do for that is... Um, we could put some of these... in here. Uh, I don't know how much... Whoops, not in there. How much do we get? 0.6? Eh. No, I don't think I want to do that. That's that's not, a, not enough. What about kelp? If we, well, I kind of like to save that to feed to the chicken, though. All right, there's nothing else in there I would want to want to do. Um... Not really anything in there I want to do either. Definitely nothing in there. How much how much does just flat out wood give us? Let's try that. Okay, that gives us one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could well actually you know what though, before we do that, we gotta we do have a little bit of repairing to do, so let's do that first. Uh, this wall took a hit. And probably... Nope, the stairs are good. Alright, what about this... The roof? I don't see any visible damage. Okay, so I think the roof's good. What about down here? Yep, that took a hit. That's okay. That's okay. That seems to be good, that's good, and that's, uh, it, it's not that bad. I, I'm, I want to be somewhat conservative here. That's, what is it? 596, yeah, that's good. Alright, let's go over here. That's good. We'll give that one tap. Uh, that's close enough. That's good. Alright, yeah, they didn't really, oh, look at that. They didn't really do much uh, to us this time because, you know, we engaged them. So, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll take this iron. I see a, a fiber plant out there, but I don't see any, uh, any crates or anything. Okay. Is this wall okay? BCU has a little tiny bit of damage, but not enough to really worry about. That's that's in pretty good shape, too. Okay. Let's put this back in here. And those can go in there. Uh, I can't remember what we were, we were going to do. So, okay, yeah. So we need... Um, we need 17 more mass to make... The extender. So yeah, let's just let's just throw seventeen pieces of wood in there. Okay, so split that in half, split that in half. That gets us up to seventy nine. Yeah, that's good. And we'll just wait for that last one just to come in, <clears throat> excuse me, on its own. And then we should be good to go. Okay, so BCU extender. Uh, we're going to put that in place so that we can then put the animal pin over on this side, kind of down there. I don't know how much the extender actually extends out. Let me look at uh, that real quick on the wiki because I've never actually used it. We never needed to use it in, in uh, season one. Okay, so yeah, um, I didn't want to spend a, a ton of time looking, but I didn't 
actually find any real useful information as as to how far it extends. So let's just put it in and we'll see we'll see what it does. So we need this, this, and this. And BCU extender. Okay, let's put that back in there. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is put it on this wall because, or maybe even in this corner or something, I don't know, because we need it to go that direction. Increases the build radius from your BCU. It doesn't, okay, but it doesn't say how much it increases it. So let's just put it up in this corner here, I guess. Okay. Now, uh, what did I do with that? Here we go. Any bad guys coming? Oh, wow. Okay. So that just kind of creates like another... another bubble get that back out wait a minute what okay I see what's going on there okay so that's the normal BCU bubble and then this one because we put it over in this corner is bringing it over to here which is what we wanted it to do. Gotcha. Okay. So why don't we just put... I, I, I still kind of wanted to put it by the tree there. I guess if we put it like right on the very edge. Maybe right here. Uh, I, I think that'll be out of the line of fire. I hope it will. Yeah, I hope it will. Okay. Very good. Rare animals up to level three. So we have to upgrade it to free range. Oh, wow. That takes padded cloth. Dog on it. Animals can roam around the housing and consume less food and water. Allows them to reach level 10. We really need to do this ASAP. Um, two padded cloth. That's the, that's the one thing I'm not going to be able to do. Yeah, because I, I don't have any more cotton. All right, well, you know what? It is what it is. We'll just have to, um, you know, keep it. Let's get some some food stuff. Uh, what do I want to get? Let's just use tomatoes for, for, for filling it up because the tomatoes fill it up quick, and I've got a whole other uh, crop plot thing. Okay, so one thing of water does 35, so we're going to need all three of those. We, we can uh, we can put dirty water in here too um, okay and then how much does one tomato give us seventeen all right let's put three more in. There we go. Okay. So when I built these in season one, I, I, at that point in time, I had enough resources to just upgrade them immediately. So I don't know how quickly the animal's going to consume, uh, you know, the food and water, but I guess we'll find out, right? I guess we will find out. Why is this potato not growing? It's indoors. It's got 30% light. And it's got water. Is it because it's near the window? Mm, I don't know. Here, let's do this. Let's move these closer to the fire. They're going to be right smack dab in the way, but 
they seem to not be uh, growing. This potato plant should have grown a long time ago. Yeah, here, let's put it here. Alright, that's registering 0% light. I think it might just take it a moment to um, catch up, maybe? Or maybe it did need to be by the windows. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see how it works. Anyway, um, we need to get ourselves a chicken now. The problem is it is too cold for me to go out. It's Yeah, it's minus 5 degrees. So what, what is our cold tolerance? Minus 5.2. But, you know, the other tricky thing about this is I have to swim in the water, um, you know, to get to the mainland. And getting wet is going to cause us to get even colder. So we might have to wait for a sunny day before we go out and find ourselves a chicken. Uh, and even though, you know, even at this point, we could only raise it to level three, but what it's going to do for us, it's going to start producing eggs. And then we can do steak and eggs. So, you know, I'll worry about getting the, up, the free range upgrade later, but the cotton is what's holding us up on that. So anyway, all right, you guys. Well, I think um, that is an episode. So yeah, um, as usual, I'm probably gonna uh, continue, you know, just doing some off-camera looting and stuff and building resources back up. I hope these things. Yeah, see, it's not registering any light at all now. So I think it does have to be by the window. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back with an update at some point. It is December right now. And um, we're going to be pretty, you know, fairly limited as to what we can do for now. Um, you know, we've got like a little blizzard going on outside. And so while that's happening, we really can't leave the island until we get, you know, some better clothing. And to do that, we got to go out and find cotton seeds. And so, yeah, uh, it'll be an interesting winter. I, I think we'll be okay. I mean, I'm, I'm expecting that we will survive it, but it might um, it might be a long winter. <laughs> Uh, and if if I determine that that is kind of the way it's going to be, I might not do a whole lot of episodes during the winter if it ends up me just having to hang out at the base for most of the time. But we'll see how, uh, you know, how things go. All right. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. I'm going to move these back over here by the light. And, you know, maybe they'll... they'll start growing on a warmer day. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I totally just butchered my uh, outro. So bye.